I'm just waiting to see if this stream opens up. Boop, doop, boop, 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 today. Is it working or is it giving me that error message? Oh, it looks like we're up. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? My name is Evan Rogers. I'm with EvansEasyJapanese.com. Go check it out. There's a bunch of resources for learning Japanese. Uh, me going through it. Um, basically, the, 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 the meat and potatoes is the YouTube channel. Uh, we got NHK Easy News. We got me just teaching basic grammar. We got me translating people's homework. We got me playing Skyrim, me playing League of Legends. You name it, we got it. Well, not everything, but, you know, lots of stuff for you to, to, to enjoy and learn some Japanese with. That being said, speaking about homework, somebody sent me a pledge on Patreon.com. You go right now and donate to Patreon or just give me a donation or else I will hunt you down and say it's okay that you didn't give me any money. It's, it's all right. I, I don't, I'm not mad at you. Oh, there's my mouse. Um, that being said, this guy donates some money each month, and now he he sent me with a five dollar donation each month. He's like, "Hey, I want to get some homework did," and so he sent me some homework or something like that. He wants me to look at. He says he doesn't really trust these uh the, these translators online, and I was like, "I don't blame you. Uh, you shouldn't." Google translations, Bing translations, blah 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 blah, whatever translations. You can't get it right with technology. Unfortunately, this guy, no, not my brain, but human humanity's brains are just a little bit more complicated than what a computer can pull off, at least for now. Um, for example, if you say, I like kids, well, that's a terrible sentence to start off with. Jesus, what was I thinking? Uh, let's say, uh, I was, <laughs> that's another bad sentence. Uh, the kids are playing. There we go, that's not creepy. Uh, the kids are playing. You say, the kids are playing. Uh, we're talking about little children, right? Well, no, actually, kid could also mean baby goat. So, automatically, just with something that small, it would be at least two translations. The children of humans are playing, or the children of goats are playing. And if we say, are playing, that can mean they're currently doing it, or it means they will absolutely do it. For example, if we say, I'm going to the store, that means you're not currently it could mean you are currently in the car driving towards the store or else it could mean I am headed in that I will be going there soon uh, so the kids are playing can mean like the baby children of humans are playing the baby children of goats are currently playing currently both those are currently or the kids of humans are definitely gonna play no matter what the hell you have to say about it or the kids of goats are definitely gonna play no matter what the hell you have to say about it they're gonna play so actually you get four translations with just one sentence things like that are a little bit too much for computers to handle at this point it'll be amazing if they ever pull it off that being said I'm gonna help this guy out with his homework okay he wants to know what these English sentences are and how we can translate them and what the grammar behind them is and that's what I'm good at I'm here to not be one of those pop douchey guys on YouTube that teaches you crappy crip crap and then no, you don't actually learn anything. Here, we're gonna learn how to actually learn some, you know, Japanese. Okay, what are you watching? Okay, so that's the basic sentence. Uh, number one, Japanese. We don't need subjects in our answers. It looks like the person who sent this in to me already knew that. It doesn't say anoto wa in it because we don't want to sound like a four year old. <laughs> Excuse me, I have boogers in my nose. <laughs> ah, boogers. Just swallow those down because I have no choice. You don't want to see me blow my nose because it'll just be a hot mess. Okay, uh, so he's the individual in this sentence is most likely watching TV. So Tedebi De is not wrong. The dead particle. God, I wish I could make that little box go away. If any of you know how to get rid of that box, let me know. Noob, hey Joel, how you doing? Uh, the dead particle tells us by means of what the verb is taking place. The verb here is mimas. I'm, oh, hello, control button. You don't do what I tell you to do. Okay, so I'm going to change this to mimas. And I'm going to put the hoodie here because, um, might as well learn some kanji while we're here. Home, insert that hoodie gana. Pew! All right, there we go. Nani, oh, mimas. Perfect, yeah. Tedebide, by means of the TV or via television. Uh, nani o, this is, the o particle tells us what it is that we are verbing. So there's a thing and we're going to verb that thing. And, uh, sometimes there's, there's a little bit of a gray area with some verbs, but with mimas, we're verbing something. We're watching something. And so, yes, 
Mimas is a thing that we is a thing that we can verb. Uh, and nani is asking what that thing is. This is nani o mimas. Notice the pronunciation is not nan o, it's nani o. Uh, this computer gets it right. So terebi de nani o mimas ka. And this is pretty good. Um, personally, I don't feel like we need to have terebi de. It's one of those we know who we're talking about. So we kind of know that it's going to be about a TV. Maybe it's YouTube. Maybe it's your computer. Maybe it's a movie theater. Maybe it's in your man cave. Uh, so I'm just going to delete Terra be dead. It's not wrong, but we're not 100% sure, and it might be redundant. So I'm just going to delete Terra be dead. Nanyo Mimas ka? This is great. However, I want to point something out. Mimas. Mimas has two translations in English. It means I will do something or I do do something. Okay, so this isn't asking what are you... Uh, it's not asking what will you do or what do you watch. It's not asking what do you watch or what will you watch. It's what you are currently watching. Notice, are and watching are together. That means currently doing. What are you doing right now? So unfortunately, when we're doing currently right now, uh, right now, we need to do the pattern verb in the te form. So let me just map this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the hiragana because it's a pain in the butt to switch between them. Uh, verb uh, te form. Uh, te form uh, plus and then I'll do it here imas te form of a verb plus imas means currently doing I'm gonna zoom in so we can see this a little better when I get to a verb that I need to look up I because actually I saw I was looking at some of these um, and they had some tricky verbs in them anyway what are you watching nani omimasuka this is literally what are you what will you do or what do you do we want to do what are you watching currently right now um, and uh, by the way, this te form plus imas isn't always translated as currently, but it's as close as you're going to get in Japanese. There's some weird verb things that exist. We can get into that later. But with mimas, it's a thing you do. So we're going to go with mite. Whoa, miote junk. Mite imas. Oops, and I should, I'm going to do the kanji because we might as well learn some kanji. Nani o mite ka? Okay. Nani o mite ka? Great. Perfect. 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 The te form of mimas is mite. Uh, it's a group two verb, uh, so with group two verbs, you just take the plain form midu, and then you uh, kill the ru, kill the ru, and then add te, so equals mite. Okay, that's how you get for a group two, group two verbs, uh, group two verbs. Uh, some books call them group two, some ver uh, books call them, um, well, I think like e verbs or something like that. But whatever, whatever you want to call them, you just kill the ru in the plain form, and then you add the te. And then you're done. Um, if you're not, if you're doing it from the mas form, uh, it's you change it from the mas, and then you kill the mas and add ru. It's the same thing. Uh, this drop the mas form, drop the mas form is called the stem. So, uh, so mi mas, kill the mas. So it's mi. That's your stem, and then you just add te. So mi te, and you're done. It's a group two te form. All right. So I would stick with that. Plus e mas equals currently doing. Nani mi te masuka? Eh, nan? Oi, nani mi teru? That'd be play inform. Nani mite ka? Oh, nani o mite ka? Would be a polite way of asking. What are you watching currently right now? I see you watching the TV. What in the flaming hell are you watching? But I'm being polite with you. The mas form means I am being polite with you. How many people we got watching? We got two. That means me and Joel. It's you and me, Joel. How are you feeling? Anything exciting today? How was work? Probably exciting, I'm sure. How hot is it outside? Yeah, great. How hot is this? Uh, soto ni. That's fine. Uh, this this is pronounced soto ni. So far, you know, it's all right. Soto ni. Uh, des ka. Notice how we have des. Des is not an action verb. Uh, so de because des is not an action verb, the ni after soto is fine. If we were doing something like eating, though, or drinking or watching, we would change this to de because that would show us the place of an action. Ni is the place of inaction. Uh, ni after a place is uh, ni equals place of inaction uh, de e oops, oops yeah see this is what I hate that so much equals a uh, place of action so if we're eating um, 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 that's an action gets a dead particle des existing as something that's inaction so it's a knee particle so soto knee perfect soto knee not a deska uh, in fact if we're talking about outside we're gonna say wa soto wa regarding outside the wa particle could just be translated as like regarding or like talking about it. Actually, the best way to translate the wa particle when it's used like this is the intonation. Soto wa. Soto wa. So it's kind of like outside. 
Atsuri Oh, this is for those of you who can't read this. There's two suns. Uh, that is Hot Atsui. Let's see, not much today. More of working and no one looking at it. Ah, sorry, man. Yeah, he works at this company and apparently they don't treasure his work as much as they should. Um, uh, and there's reasons for that. It's not because he sucks. Well, I mean, I guess I don't know for sure, but probably he doesn't suck. I mean, he's been working there for a long time. He probably doesn't suck at his job. Um, there are other more valid reasons for that suckery or uh, for that problem. Anyway. Soto wa. Ni, ni is fine. In fact, we could even do both. We could even do ni wa. Soto ni wa. Talking about outside. But I'm just gonna go with wa. Soto wa. Dono gurai. Um, I like after dono, for whatever reason, I like gurai. Same word. Kurai works, but I'm, I'm, for some reason, my ears are telling me to go into gurai. Uh, dono gurai atsui desu ka? This is perfect. Dono gurai, um, dono gurai adjective. Dono gurai adjective. This is. To what extent the adjective? Uh, so, dono gurai adjective. Uh, to what extent uh, adjective? So, I mean, to 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 what extent? So, like, if we're talking about dono gurai atsui, how hot is it? To what extent is it hot? Um, dono gurai oishii desu ka? To what extent is it tasty? Oishi, tasty, oishi, tasty. Takai, dono gurai takai desu ka? How expensive is it? So this this is used like how so yeah let's change it to how ver, how adjective how adjective how adjective is it dono gurai adjective okay so yeah dono gurai atsui desu ka soto wa dono gurai atsui desu ka so regarding outside how hot is it great yeah oh I forgot to mention the ka particle at the end these are question marks basically essentially um literally you can translate these as the word or um, because in between nouns it also works in an or it it, it you don't have to but you can. So, nani o mitemasu ka? So, you are looking at what? Or, but it's kind of like weird, it doesn't quite work there. But anyway, it's a question marker, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to kill these explanation things because you can just pause it on YouTube. So, oh no, I'm dead! Oops, uh, hang on, something screwy happened there. I, I must have, uh, I must have pissed off the Microsoft Word gods. I don't think I do. All right, uh, is my ugly face covering... The actual sentences we're trying to do. No, okay, great, we're good. Okay, on my last video, my head was gigantic and I was covering up some of the sentences. Apologies. Uh, okay, I'm going to the park, but he's going to the gym. Dun 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 dun! Okay, um, I want to point something out. You've been using polite form, mas and des, mas and des. Uh, and then in this sentence, you're like mas, but then you're like, screw mas, I'm going to be blunt to you. Uh, this sentence doesn't make any sense. Well, um, I shouldn't say it doesn't make sense. It's not correct. Because here you're like, oh, I will be going to the park. And then here you're like, but he's going to the gym, you jerk. Um, so it's like, oh, excuse me, good sir. I will be going to the park, but he'll be going to the gym, you jerk. It's like the sudden shift in I treat you with different amounts of respect. If you're going to be going with ikimas in the middle of a sentence, you damned well better be ending your sentence with the ikimas form as well. Uh, or the mas form as well. In fact, here, because it's not the ending of a sentence, it is, it's, it's the ending of a clause. Um, the video I did yesterday, it's called um, Modifying Verbs, uh, Clauses and Things Like That. Number one, check it out. Um, it's, it, like, if you go to my YouTube channel, it should just be the one right before this. Um, this is the end of a clause, and so clauses, we usually just use the plain form. So if you're going to put a plain form anywhere, you're going to put it there, in the middle. So let's give these guys the uh, the kanji they deserve, or the hudi, the little letters above the kanji called hurigana. And uh, I'm just going to put those in so we can all read them better. Uh, let me scroll down so we can see this better. Um, yell at me in the chat logs if you can see that. So that would be plain then. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, Joel, you got it. Yeah, plain's usually in the beginning, like, like, if you have a long sentence and there's lots of clauses into it, we generally, 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 generally put plain forms in the clauses. And then we end the sentence. The sentence final verb determines the politeness level. Um, in general, in general. I mean, we can, if we use masses all the way through, we're being a little bit over the top polite. Like, we're, we're taking it up one step. We're not saying you're like godly, amazing dude. We're just upping the formality, that extra, you know... Stick in that. St <laughs> I was gonna talk about a stick and where it might enter your posterior, but let's keep it civil. Um, 
you're gonna be a little bit more sitting up straight. How about that? Uh, okay, so, but in general, we want the plain forms inside the sentences, and we want to end it with a moss form if we're trying to be polite. Okay, koan is a park. Ni iku, go into the park. Um, ga, but. So, yeah, uh, the ga sent, the ga particle, uh, I mean, it's a particle. At the end of a sentence or at the end of a clause, which is usually after, that means basically after a verb, is like, but. It's this, like, I'm gonna do this, but he's gonna do that. Um, just, which is exactly what the sense is. Kare wa jim ni ikimasu. Uh, yeah, jim, jim is fine. I think this is actually the best word to, to say for a gym. Um, just, I'm, I'm gonna, because honestly, I, I, I never went to that many gyms. What do they give us? Uh, what's that? Taikakan? Uh, that's more like a gymnasium inside of a school, Taikakan. That's where all the kids go for, like, the, uh, doing their gym class. And then jimu. Uh, yeah, so let's just go with jimu. I mean, I just want to see if there's a better word. Jimu. Jimu works, yeah, the gym. Ni ikimasu. Yeah, great. Ni is great. Uh, ni with verbs of movement, i.e. going. Uh, you know, ikimasu is a verb of a movement. The ni particle tells you to where you go and you will stop there. It has that feeling of going to a point and then ending up there. Uh, that's how it differenti uh, differ differentiates from e. Eh, the he. It look, it's a he. Oh, sorry. Uh, hang on, which way does the he go? Do I have to go this way? Yeah, yeah, so he is gonna go, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, so he goes that way, okay. So, <laughs> the he particle, it's actually pronounced e, eh, uh, but it's written as a he, um, means just towards a location, whereas ni is kind of, you go there and you stop there. Um, but they mean basically the same thing, don't don't overthink it, don't overthink it. So, koen ni iku ga, kare wa jimu ni ikimasu. Yeah, this is great, this is great. Um, I have no problems with this sentence, except one tiny minor thing now that we've done this. Since we're doing a contrast, a comparative sentence, I wouldn't mind having the subject in the first clause, like watashi. What the heck? What just happened there? Like my screen exploded. Watashi wa, watashi wa koen ni ikimasu ga, kare wa jimu ni ikimasu. Uh, I learned watashi as the fail-safe how to talk to people when you're referencing yourself. Um, however, I was made fun of what, like, my college professor told me, my high school teacher told me, it said boys can use boku, but then my teacher was like, just use, just use watashi. Um, this is boku. When I got to Japan and I was teaching elementary school kids, the kids made fun of me for saying watashi. So if you're a guy, go with boku at least. Go with boku at least when you're talking like to people who you should be, you know, above a little bit. Uh, Watashi's your always fail safe, I'm not being a jerk way of saying, referencing yourself. If you want to be super I'm the man, yeah dog, you want to go with ore. This is Vegeta and uh, Goku fighting, they're trying to outman each other so they're going to use ore. Um, my understanding was the individual sent this in was a guy, so I'm going to tell him to go with boku up. And the reason why I wanted to add watashi wa or boku wa is because we're highly comparing these clauses. This dude is going to the park, but that dude, you see, he's feeling, I'm going to the park, he's going to the gym. That intuition, that sort of feeling is your wa particle in action. That sep keeping in mind that intonation, that is what the difference between wa and ga is. Not, not this ga, this is the but. I mean, this is but. By the way, if you're familiar with ga's being the word but, if you're not, you might know kedo. Uh, kedo works to ga. Ga is more formal and it's more in writing. Kedo, you will see in writing, don't overthink it. But it's a little, just a little bit less formal. It's more common in speaking. Uh, but ga appears in speaking, kedo appears in writing. Don't worry about it. I'm going to stick with ga because that's already written. So, boku wa koen ni iku ga. Kare wa jimu ni ikimasu. Yeah, great. Great sentence, no problems. Perfect. Notice also, it's interesting, in English we put the comma after, like, going to the park. Whereas they, they would kind of have the particle after, or the, the, the comma after ga. So that's cool. Yeah, great. How many you got watching? Three people watching! So me, Joel, and one secret guy who's not talking at all in chat. Who are you? Who are you? Okay, uh, anyway, my PlayStation got wet because I accidentally dropped water on it. Looks like he's got a few sentences. Uh, 
Huto, this is kind of like recently or something like that. What was that? Huto, um, sorry, this isn't a word I use. Whoop, not, that's um, obviously not Japanese. Uh, Huto, I looked up because I wasn't familiar with it because I don't use it that often. Suddenly, by chance, accidentally. Um, that's not wrong, and I probably wouldn't, it probably is not wrong. Um, there's, I think there's a better way to say this. Um, my PlayStation got wet. If that happened to me, I'd be angry. And there's actually a verb pattern for angry, something happened and I'm angry because of it. Okay? Uh, okay, so let's go through this. Uh, let's do all the, uh, let's give all the, uh, kanji here. Are we good? Uh, Mizu, Otoshita, Watashi, Game. Oh, we don't need Game. I mean, let's be honest, we don't need to be reading Hiragana with, uh, Katakana. And it's just distracting, to be totally honest. And the Moo, apparently, I didn't highlight for some reason. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of that Moo. Wow, it's dead. A game key. What? Nurimashita. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. Let's do this one too. Watashi, no, I don't want to get the Katakana in here. Kimi Nara. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Naze Nara, that's right. You're going with Naze Nara here. Boink. Um, okay. So this one is sort of like suddenly, Futo Mizu Otoshita no de. Okay, so Otosu is more like I drop. Like I drop something. I. Um. Kobosu is a little bit more my feeling. Uh, kobosu is more like spill. Ko. Oops. Uh, hello, English. Kobosu. Uh, that's the plain form. Kobosu is the plain form. Um, however, I want to be like I accidentally drop some water in it. So Koboshite. Koboshite, this is a te form of koboshimas, koboshite. This is a group one, so you have to learn the group one patterns. I have a video in my, uh, I'm, I'm on, a, on, a, on my website. EvanCCJapanese.com. You go here, learn Japanese, individual grammar lessons. You want to go to verb conjugations. Uh, da -da -da -da, I think it's number five. Number five is a te form. How to make the te, how to make the te form. Go there, check it out. Uh, you might need to see number four to get it get a feel for it, but you just five to four and you'll be good Great Koboshite and then we're gonna add Shimatta Koboshite shimatta This is literally saying I ah crapidly spilled water on my thing So um, I'm gonna get rid of Futo just cause it's like suddenly and I don't I mean I don't know it, I'm used to not hearing it. That doesn't necessarily mean um, It it's wrong. Um, I'm just not familiar with it as well. Uh, uh, and I'm gonna change this to shimatta no de. This is like, this is literally because I spilled water. Um, because I spilled water. However, let's think about it. Let's think. It's not. I mean, it is because I spilled water. It got wet. I mean, that's duh. But I mean, think about that. You spilled water and it got wet, right? You spilled water and then boom, it got wet. It's like A happened and then immediately B happened. When you see that. Think te form. So shimatte. Mizu wo koboshite shimatte. And then uh, we want to know the target. Where did you spill the water on? The target of your spilling is the knee particle. Uh, koboshite shimatte. Um, what? So your 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 game machine game key. I gotta be honest. I I don't talk about game machines that often in Japanese. So game key. I want to make sure that we're using the right term. Uh, game key. So boom. Oops, we don't need a key there, obviously. That's just ridiculous. Gaming machine, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, it says PlayStation, so, I mean, we could just say PlayStation, PlayStation. That's what you always hear. Game of key works. This literally means game machine. The key after it is the key in Kikai, which is machine. Uh, I'm going to change it to just PlayStation. PlayStation. PlayStation? Uh, Can I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust the, uh, the, the, the machine there. PlayStation, that's probably how you write PlayStation. I don't write about PlayStation often. I don't know the exact correct spelling, sorry. So PlayStation, that is the target. That is the thing the water spilled onto Ni. So you spilled water onto the PlayStation. Oh no, I spilled the water onto, notice two on Ni. PlayStation, Ni, Mizu o Kobosu, Koboshite, Shimatte. So, so the subject is understood because it's me. Um, so I 
onto the PlayStation. Water is what I awkwardly spilled. I awkwardly spilled water onto my PlayStation and uh, got wet. Uh, and then uh, awkwardly it got wet. PlayStation the music kobashite shimatte nuremashita nurete shimaimashita shimaimashita. And then uh ni wa PlayStation ni wa mizu kobashite shimatte. I'm going to add a wa here because it's kind of like the 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 the, the subject to the sen. Notice um we have two clauses. My PlayStation got wet. That's one clause that we have I accidentally dropped water on it. So there's another clause. Okay, so we have my PlayStation got wet. I actually dropped water on it. The PlayStation is important to both of those. And then this, uh, actually, nu de do nu 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 ra de. Uh, this would be nu ra de nu de do nu de re da. Wait 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 wait. Is nu de do a group one or a group two? Uh, nu de do nu de do. Must be a group two. Uh, to be what to be de drenched. Uh, nu ra de wet wet to be cover the goods. Um. Get wet, yeah. To get wet, so yeah, yeah. We're, we're just gonna stick with that, yeah. Okay, I, I, I wanted to make sure it wasn't like some weird verb form. Okay, a uh, PlayStation, what? Yeah, uh, play. I'm just gonna go. No, we're gonna go PlayStation. -y. Never mind, ignore what I've been talking about. PlayStation, mizu koboshite shimatte, nurete shimaimashita. Uh, this should be understood. It seems a little bit vague in English because it's like onto the PlayStation. Somebody all crapidly spilled water. It got something got wet. We don't know what the something is, but I mean, we're mentioned PlayStation ni. I think we we the average Japanese listener is gonna figure out that we're talking about PlayStation. It would be repetitive, repetitive saying, "Watashi wa PlayStation ni mizu kobashite shimatte. Watashi no PlayStation ga nurete shimaimashite." It, it, you sound like a freaking two-year-old, okay? So PlayStation ni mizu noboshite shimatte. Nurete shimaimashita. This te shimaimashita. Uh, I'm just gonna. Um, we'll go over this next sentence, but uh, I'm probably just gonna say, don't, don't, don't talk like that. Um, no, no offense. It's just let's not do that. Um, uh, but, but, but okay. So te form of verb plus shimaimas. Shimaimas equals. I mean, literally, the translation is ah crapidly. Um, I did something ah crapidly. Ah oh, crap! I did something. That feeling is the teshimatta. Um, shimaimasu is the mas form. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't recognize that as a as a word. Um, shimaimasu is the t is the mas form. The plain form is shimao, shimao. Um, and then the te form is shimatte. Uh, the plain the the past tense form be shimatta. And you might have heard this. You might have heard shimatta. Um, this is a quote-unquote scare quote uh, curse word in Japanese. Shimatta! When you screw something up, you're like, ah, shimatta. Sometimes you'll hear it pronounced shimatta. Um, this word literally means, ah, crap. So when you make a mistake, ah, shimatta. I did it. Ah. There's other ways of cursing, too. I'm not going to get into them. Uh, curse words, really quickly in Japanese, um, exist. But they're not like dropping the F-bomb in church. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so um, they're not as bad in Japan as they are here in America. And a lot of Japanese people don't understand this. They'll come here and be like, ooh, let's learn how to say curse words. And they'll blurt it out. People are like, Americans are like, you saying that word literally makes me feel uncomfortable. Let's not, let's tone it down, buddy. I do not want to hear that word in a meeting at my office or whatever. Um, but they're having fun. They're like, ah, it means like shimatta. Ah, oh, damn. Or something like that. But it's like, dude, 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 you got it. There's a culture difference. Um, Japanese curse words aren't as bad as English curse words because I think curse words are like blasphemes against God to some extent is how we have this. Um, okay, so so this is how I would say PlayStation ni mizu koboshite shimatte nurete shimaimashita. And actually, we don't even need the we don't even need the two we don't even need the two shimatte. Now that I think about it, PlayStation ni mizu koboshite nurete shimaimashita. Um, uh, really quickly, also if you want to pronounce this quickly, um. Te, oh, sorry, you probably can't see it because I'm zoomed down too far. Um, te shimata is frequently pronounced. Uh, so, like, uh, let, let's let, let, let's use a verb. So, we'll say, like, uh, 
Non de shimata. I all crappedly drank your beer or something like that. Oops, I drank your beer. Crap. You'll frequently see it pronounced like non jata. Because the n de shima is difficult to pronounce, you just say non jata. Or if it's a te sound, you'll see like a ta. Oh. Tabete shimata will be pronounced very frequently when you're slurring your speech. Tabet chata. Tabechata. Uh, I think that that's just a tabechata. So you, if you ever see a tabechata or nonjata or something like that in your in your in your um, manga that you're reading, that is the I ah crapidly did something. Okay. Cool. Um. So this is how I would say PlayStation imizu noboste nurute shimaimasta. And if I was talking plainly with somebody, PlayStation imizu noboste nurutchata. Nurutchata is how I would actually pronounce it if I was talking to a friend, but this might not be to a friend. Cool. Uh, no game key wa nudemasta. My my game console got wet. And actually, actually, with the wa particle, it sounds more like this. My game console, what well, it got wet. <laughs> it literally, it literally sounds like that. Uh, no game key wa nudemasta. Like, oh, my game machine got wet. Uh, I'm making fun of you just because it's so I'm a two-year-old um, and I understand this is basic grammar and I'm and you compare that to my sentence It's like we can assume this we can assume this we can assume this people will say this more like this blah, 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 blah. We don't need to say it here, blah 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 um, This is an acceptable sentence for low-level students and I, I'm making fun of it because it sounds like a sentence that a two-year a Japanese two or a Japanese, you know 105 student would be saying it's not wrong. You know, my station got wet. You know, okay, that's fine. It's, it just sounds, it's stale. It's hard. Nazi nara. Nazi nara. Okay, nazi nara, nazi nara ba. Uh, these are just ways of saying, you know, the reason why. Boku ga futo mizu otosta. Once again, he's using otosta, which is literally like to drop. I dropped water. Like, it's almost like I dropped water. Um, which is, maybe that's what happened. But if you're talking about spilling water, it's kobosu. Koboshimashita. And once again, we want to add the feeling of ah crap to it. Koboshite shimaimashita. Okay, koboshite shimaimashita. Cool. That's what I would go with. Um, oh my gosh, there's more. Okay, let's keep. I thought I was done. We still got only the three viewers, man. Nobody loves me. Uh, where did all my viewers go? What do you want to eat? Don't I want Oga? Well, okay, so he's having trouble with Oga. Well, I'm gonna make a video of Oga and Wa, and then also no particle, like not the no particle. I mean, having no particle. Um, I wanna I wanna make a video about the differences because this is a very important thing that um a lot of students don't quite get. Uh, tabetai des. Yeah, great. Um, tabetai. I'm gonna just put the kanji there. And then we're gonna add all of the kanji in here because these are some good kanjis to know. Okay, um, so okay, so let's talk about what's going on here. We got dona, which is literally what's kind of. Sorry, I highlighted tabe because it's got the fruity got it. Dona means what kind of. Tabe mono literally means f food. Why is it not? I, oh my freaking god. Okay, whatever. Tabe mono right here where my mouse is. Oh, let me scroll down a little bit so you can see it better. Um, yoink. Donna tabemono, what kind of food is literally what you're saying there. What kind of food? O tabetai, and then we have tabetai. Uh, when you take the stem, which is just kill the moss and then add tai, uh, that is um, want to verb. So tabe is tabemas is to eat. Tabemas, kill the moss, add tai. We get want to verb. Tabetai des, you end those with des is to be polite. Um, this is secretly an E adjective for those of you who are keeping track. Tabatai does become an E adjective. I'll talk, actually, that's very important. I'll let me just into that right now. Notice, so it's Tabatai des. Uh, so this literally means wants to eat. Um, and so an English speaker is going to say, it must be an O particle. There's something I want to eat. That's a thing I want to do. But think about it. You want to eat. It's a thing you want. It's almost like I want a thing and the thing is to eat. Um, which, so you get in this tricky gray area, even in English, um, we use the gerund. Um, so let me just settle right now. O is fine. O is fine. For this part, for this setup, O is fine. It makes it sound much more like a verb, which is actually what's happening. Right now in English, it's switching a little bit. Uh, sorry, in English. In Japanese, it's switching. 
It's becoming O. Oh, I think English is bastardizing Japanese grammar here. Um, they're treating tabatai like a verb when it's actually an E adjective. Um, but O oh is acceptable now. 50 years ago, I think the answer would be no. You can't use an O oh there. 50 years ago, it would have been a ga or a wa, depending on your context. Here it'd be a ga. When you're asking a question, and the question is what, or like who, or like what kind of thing do you want a verb or do you want to do? Never can it be a wa. It can never be a wa, okay? Never can an interrogative, a question word, never can an interrogative be followed by a wa. Because it'd be like, what kind of food do you want to eat? Does that sound right to you? What kind of food do you want to eat? Like, that's literally the intonation that a wa particle has with it. What, ki what kind of food do you want to eat? That intonation is wrong in English, and that's why we can't use wa. It's got to be a ga, because it's kind of like, what kind of food do you want to eat? Uh, or an o particle, sorry. It's not necessarily a ga or an o, but uh, if you remember, he, had a, he, he, had, he was like, wa ga, wa? Never, ever, ever can it be an interrogative. Dona is an interrogative. Notice it means what kind of. This is an interrogative. And never after an interrogative can we have a wa if it's a question. So just X on the on the wa. However, uh, I've talked about O is okay. Ga is also okay. And the reason is because it is a... Uh, it's, this is an adjective. You're literally asking, what kind of food is wants to eat? What kind of food is wants to eat feeling? So it's like you have a feeling, and that feeling is wants to eat. And then I'm asking you, what is the food that generates that want to eat feeling? I mean, it, it's it's really a mind screw. You get a big old screw in your head. And it's like, ah! That's kind of literally what you're saying in, in Japanese. It doesn't work in English, so um, it's best to think about it just as, you know, a weird thing that exists, and then treat it with a ga. The 100% correct English, uh, sorry, Japanese grammar would be a ga particle. And it literally means, what is it that, what kind of food is, you want to have feeling, you want to eat feeling. Uh, however, recently it's been turning into a verb, so we use the O particle more frequently. Uh, ga is accurate, O is less accurate, but more, actually maybe it's even more common. Uh, so Ga is the correct answer. Ga, ga is the 100% correct answer. Um, however, Donna Tabemono is literally, what kind of food do you want to eat? Um... If it was me, I'd just be like, Nani? Nani ga tabatai ga? Which is literally just like, what do you want to eat? Um, Nani tabatai ga? And uh, honestly, um, the ga is totally acceptable. Um, if you talk with your friends or somebody commonly, you might just leave out the you might just leave out the 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 ga and the o completely. Nani tabatai ga? That's fine. Nani ga tabatai ga? A little bit more formal, a little bit more polite. Nani o tabatai ga? Oh, 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 I didn't even realize this. There should be a ka there. <laughs> uh, all of those are acceptable as long as they have the ka there. So, nani ga tabatai ga, nani o tabatai ga, or, you know, um, a little bit less formal, but nani, nani tabatai ga, nani tabatai ga. Written, this looks stupid. Uh, spoken, it sounds natural. Nani tabatai ga. Uh, so, I would go with nani, your best answer is nani ga tabatai ga. Uh, dona tabimono isn't wrong, it just means what kind of food. It's not wrong, but, you know, it's more like, I want to eat Thai food, maybe. Um, or like, you know, Italian or something like that. So, okay. Let's not go there. Asoka ni ikunai. The food is too expensive. Uh, you said, uh, okay, so this kanji here is Asoko. Okay, it says Kashiko. Uh, <laughs> uh, the kanji you use here is so not common that uh, this thing can't even recognize it. Uh, for Asoko, people just, we, we just, Asoko. Uh, we, um, it, it, it would be weird to see the kanji outside of very formal writing. So, asoko ni ikanai. This literally means, uh, remember we talked about plain forms, I'm sorry, uh, mas, just, just like mas or ru, the plain form, not past tense, not negative. This means I will go or I do go. So in the negative it means I won't go or I don't go. Um, which isn't really what you want to see, what you want to say. You're kind of saying let's not go there. Um... Let's not go there is a tricky thing to 
translate because um, we use masho for going to places like let's do something let's do something as masho or tabeyo or iko um, if it was just me I would just say I don't really want to go there uh, and oh, oh sorry I shouldn't be erasing asoko ni asoko ni I would just say asoko ni wa because the place that I don't want to go is being limited to that over there. So you're just saying that place over there, uh, that place over there specifically, uh, not really wanting to go there. Other places are fine. That place, not so much. That feeling of other places are fine, but that place, not so much. That's the wa particle. That place to that place, anmari, I used to say, anmari ikitaku nai. Uh, ikitaku nai des, to be polite. Um, so ikitaku nai des. Asoku ni wa amari ikitaku nai des. And then, um, I would uh, put the reason ahead of it just to just uh, um, just just keep it in one sentence instead of splitting it into two sentences. Uh, desu kara, takai sugi is wrong. Takasugi, you kill the e add sugi. Um, and then desu kara, I would just go with the ru kara. Takasugi du kara. Oh, sorry. Let's let's get the uh, let's get the um, the 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 the, the furigana. Shoji ga takasugi du kara. So, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar, um, once again, notice how we have the plain form happening in the sentence, and then we're ending it with the mas form or the, you know the des form, uh, the plate form at the end of the sentence. Uh, and then kara takasugi du kara. Because that thing is too expensive, shokuji ga. The shokuji, um, the, the food is, the food is too expensive. Literally, this means the food is too expensive. Kara, asoku ni wa amari ikitaku nai I don't really want to go there. I don't really want to go there. This, there might be another way to say, like, uh, I don't really want to, or um, let's not go there. But uh, it's not, it doesn't come up that often. Honestly, if we format it this way, um, yes, the food is too expensive, it feels like we're talking about a restaurant. If we're talking about like a, a, like a convenience store or like a grocery store, uh, this might change a little bit, but I'm going to change this to Asoko wa. That, that place? Asoko wa. Everything that I'm about to say. So this is like it's, 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 it's drifting on its own. It's like that place is specifically what I'm talking about. So... Asoko wa takasugi ru kara amari ikutakunai desu. So that place is where I'm limiting my conversation to. That place? It's too expensive. Because because it's too expensive. So that place? Because it's too expensive. I don't really want to go there. Asoko wa takasugi ru kara amari ikutakunai desu. I don't really want to go there because it's too expensive. That's how I would. I know, I know it's not literally what you wrote, but it's a little bit more accurate to Japanese culture and how you might say things. This is how I would say it. This is how I would get by in Japan. Ah, soko wa takasugiru kara amari ikitakunai desu. Okay, this is how I would handle these sentences. Uh, my good sir, thank you for the donations. I encourage everybody who watches this to go to Patreon. Send me a buck a month or whatever you can afford. Check out the donations page. Just send me some PayPal. Um, go to my website. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and a, and a share it with your friends, for God's sake. So I'm getting like 50 views of video and these things are half an hour long. Uh, I'm going to reread these the way that I would read, say them uh, so that you can get a flavor of the pronunciation. So let me get the microphone a little bit closer to my mouth. Now notice these are all polite. We're all ending them in the mas and the deses. So, nani o mitemasu ka? Nani, nani o mitemasu ka? Nani o mitemasu ka? Da -da 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 -da. Nani o mitemasu ka? What are you watching? How hot is it? Soto wa dono grai atsui desu ka? Soto wa soto wa dono grai atsui desu ka? Dono grai atsui. Dono grai atsui desu. Let's actually say hi. Dono grai atsui desu ka? Dono grai atsui desu ka? Dono grai atsui desu ka? Ah, so that's how it. Soto wa dono grai atsui desu ka? You can keep it high or you can even come. Dono grai atsui desu ka? Dono grai atsui desu ka? I, I'd say there's two pronunciation patterns there. I'm going to the park. Boku wa koen ni iku ga. Boku wa koen ni iku ga. 
彼は、I see Jim and I think I named Jim.、Uh, 僕は公園に行くが、彼はジムに行きます。僕は公園に行くが、uh, you wanna know, honestly, we can keep this mass,、uh, we can't keep it mass because it's almost like its own sentence, but it, 行く might work better. 僕は公園に行きますが、there's two bunnies chasing each other outside, they're going nuts.、Uh, we have a bunny that lives under our deck and it must have had some babies, and now the baby bunnies are chasing each other. 僕は公園に行きますが、彼はジムに行きます。Uh, we keep this in the plain form, but、um, it almost feels like it's two sentences, so、uh, we can keep the mas form. It wouldn't be wrong. 僕は公園に行くが、彼はジムに行きます。Sounds fine. My PlayStation got wet because I actually dropped water on it. Yeah, we, see, you, we're using the word dropped, but it should be like spilled. I mean, literally, we're saying spilled. PlayStation に水をこぼして濡れてしまいました。濡れてしまいました。濡れてしまいました。PlayStation に水をこぼして、PlayStation に水をこぼして、uh, That sounds weird. PlayStation に水をこぼして、濡れてしまいました。PlayStation に水をこぼして、濡れてしまいました。てしまいました。Did something I crapidly しまった。しまった飲んじゃった。食べちゃった。Um, this one is, I don't want to read this one because it just doesn't sound like something that I would ever say. No offense. No offense. I'm just not going to do it. What do you want to eat? 何が食べたいですか And actually, if I'm reading this out loud, I just say, Nani tabeta, Nani tabeta, there's no particle there. Nani tabeta i desu ka? But if I'm reading this, Nani ga, oh, sorry, if I'm saying this, there's no particle. Nani tabeta i desu ka? If I'm reading it, Nani ga tabeta i desu ka? Or if I want to be more like new and I'm making it think like a verb, Nani o tabeta i desu ka? And what do you want to eat? We can even say, Where do you want to eat? Like a restaurant, Doku de tabeta i desu ka? Uh, let's not go there. The food is too expensive. I change the sentence to be that place is too expensive and I don't really want to go there.、Uh, asoko wa tabe. Oh, sorry, tabe. Sorry, my brain's in the wrong spot. Asoko wa takasugi. Yeah, we're, we're,、uh, this could be a te form, but I'm just going to stick with the kara. Asoko wa takasugi ru kara. Amari k i t a k u n a i desu. Amari k i t a k u n a i desu. All right, hey. I'm glad this was helpful, just like Joel said. Uh, I am out of here. Have a great good day, guys. I hope, that, I hope this is helpful, dude who gave me money. P- yeah, cheers to you. Thank you. Other people give me money. That's great. The, I know it sounds like I'm trying to just beg for money, but the more money I get doing this, the more time I'm going to spend doing it. It sounds stupid, but if I can make a living online, you better damn well believe I'm going to do it. All right, you guys have yourself a good day. Check this out on YouTube. Have a great day. And how do I end this? Over meow. Peace out.